Greetings everybody, this is Thungon here on another adventure map, and you might recognize this as Chronotide, either by the looks of it or by the title of the videos, I guess, but uh, a few things to mention about this map before I really begin. Uh, Chronotide, this is the Halloween edition, I'll get that into a minute. Um, usual custom map rules apply, cannot break blocks and things. I make craft items, I, I explore, play on normal, which I will. This map is created by Vladimir. Sir Vladimir on YouTube. He is an excellent map maker, superb, and this is really a great map overall. And that's too many items in 1.4. Don't ignore that. But, um,. So, about two months ago, Vladimir asked me to beta test this map for him, and I said yes, and I did did so, and I had a blast, and I gave him my feedback, and I helped him out with something beneath here, and so overall, I do know this what this map holds, I do know the story, and I do know um, the, the overall... overall aspect of the map but this is the Halloween edition it is the 1.4 edition and there are many new changes to it since it was released and I, these changes I don't really know fully well I, I imagine one of them, I can imagine one of them but I don't know them fully well and um, so I wanted to explore it and at the same time I did not record the beta test and I want to record this one to hopefully uh, to uh, have a playthrough through this map on my channel as well as to uh, give this map a shout out so before I really begin if you want to play this map for yourself check out the description below and there will be a link to the place where you could download this map and play it for yourself um, this map does have a texture pack with it um, recommended not required recommended texture pack Unfortunately, that one's not updated to 1.4 yet. Item frames are invisible. Zombies have no arms or faces. And it just looks pretty weird on the texture pack. So I'm going to go with default. And it supports the default look. I'm actually on my 1.4 texture pack. But anyways, let's get going. So, welcome the warden. Welcome to Chronotide, friend. You have been summoned through the time stream by the Chrono Crystal. Chrono Crystal is right in front of me. Because it believes it can help the inhabitants of the city. I am the warden of the Chrono Crystal, and I shall do my best to explain our situation. A great darkness came to our city and struck at the Chrono Crystal. The energy chalk wave from the crystal shattered the buildings surrounding it. The earth split and lava spewed to the surface, causing chaos for the city. In an act of preservation, I activated the crystal, placing the city's inhabitants in a temporal st stasis so that they exist between time. The crystal then ejected into seven energy cores through the time stream to seven different points in time. This is where I come in. Throughout the city, there are seven vaults. Each vault contains a time portal, and I have to go through the time portal and retrieve the energy core and place it inside the chrono crystal. The crystal will only be activated one the crystal will only activate one vault every hour, a Minecraft hour. The lights around the crystal indicate the direction the vault is been powered. Once all seven corns are retrieved, the eighth vault at the clock tower will open for you. So what are the rest of these? Energy cores. Okay, I, I do know all that, so we're gonna to go through it. Books Books are basically um, the memories of the person when they were captured inside the stasis they are in. So they're kind of, they don't exist, but their memories are captured in books. I really like that uh, feature of this. Timelines, darkness has influenced the timelines. Equipment, I said search for the neighboring village for equipment. I'm not going to do that too much. Probably should take some spare swords though. So right now this is the Chrono Crystal and right now this vault is activated. But in every Minecraft hour this vault will cycle through. 
and uh, so yeah now the lights are on this one and then in one Minecraft hour the lights would be on this one which is the clock tower and it will skip the clock tower the clock tower is last so I'm gonna go to this one the vault in this one I actually don't know which of the areas these are even though I've been to all seven of them before and um, there's some stuff around probably Nether wart, interesting. But I want to get to the. <laughs> this map's getting me already. So the lights are still off, so this area will still be off. There are a billion bats down here. Oh, the. See, those lights came on when the area turned on. So I'm allowed to open this doorway. These bats are everywhere. <laughs> but on to the first area. Oh, this is an elevator shaft. So I'm going to go down the elevator. No, there is no elevator. <laughs> I w forget what the first area. I forget what all the areas are. Um, this looks much better in the recommended def uh, recommended textures. But things like item frames and all sorts of cool stuff don't work. And. Ooh, I'm in the sewers. And there are loud things happening. These are the sewers. Cordial potions. We got some armor. Yeah. There's a lot of sounds in this map, by the way. Um, found it by Harry. Dang it. Why did we have to come here and try to steal the energy core? I found it fair and square. Why did Joe have to come and steal the energy core? I found it fair and square and he just walks into my place acting like a maniac. So I put the energy core in the locked room and I'm going to hide the door lever. Uh, so we have to go find this energy core that Harry hid from Joe. Meanwhile... What in the world? What is this? What in the world is that? Okay, that's definitely new. <laughs> um, yeah, so something lit up over here. Sewers are a crazy place. Um, but that was definitely new. <laughs> um... Let's see if I recall. Yeah, here's something. Yes, so vanished by Harry. We'll grab these other things, just put these books away. So Joe attacked me last night while I was sleeping, but the strangest thing was that he vanished and I couldn't tell if he was if it was a dream or reality. I've looked everywhere but I can't find him. I guess I can get to the door lever now from under the water inlet. So it's beneath the water inlet. And I have plenty of food now. But I will finish off this. And yes, there's no, no way to not eat meat so far. So I'm not going to bother about it. I only bother about it in my single player world. But I believe... Here we go. Ours by Joe. So this is a crazy guy in here. Ooh, more armor. I will take. Harry's got the energy core. He needs to deliver, give it to us, doesn't he? Yes, yes he does. It'll all be fine. <laughs> I eat your head. <laughs> yeah, that's a corrupted soul. And that's what happens when you mess with the Chrono Crystal. Um... Oh, hello. What is this thing? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, that noise. Oh my goodness. There's like an angry fish after me. 
<laughs> oh, there's angry fishes after me. I'm out of here. I need to find this lever and get out of here. Let's get out of the water. It's not in any of those inlets. Whoa! He has a chest on his head. <laughs> Whoa! Nope, nope, nope. Okay, this corner is bad. Let's get out of here. Very bad. <laughs> yeah, it's with the boat. Okay, so here is Inlet, and this is why you should play the map before watching me play it, because I know where things like this are, and I know what to do in all the areas in general, unless he changed it on me, of course. So here is the energy core. So let's go grab it and just get out of here, right? It doesn't... Nope, nope. What? I can't open chat. What is going on? Why can't I open chat? So I removed... Doesn't matter where or when, I hear those souls screaming. The sounds of their suffering pleases me. Especially poor old Joe. His soul was easiest, easily corrupted. Oh! That's a witch. I think the best thing to do is just get that in the water and run. Run! Don't lose half a heart. Ow! I think one of those fish got me. Yep, a fish killed me in Minecraft. That is Chronotype. So I, this is the vault I went to. One of my suggestions in the beta test was to make it so this area was easy to figure out. I, is this the area? No. Okay, so spawn was right there. Um, the clock tower is that straight ahead here. So spawn. Come on, load. Yes, that's the clock tower. So spawn is facing. The lettering is facing towards the clock tower. So this area is over here. I already opened the door, so it should remain open. But man, that was cool. Um, the text, the change. Um, fish zombies. <sighs> that witch nailed me with the poison pots, though, and that that definitely kills you. Just takes one little fish hit. All right, let's go back and get the chrono crystal. I was close to escaping, right? Was it, was it, yeah, it was right around here, wasn't it? No, it was not. It was here. Yep, there's the fish guy. Okay. You wanted the submarine people after me? And one another of the baby ones? I can't pick up this fish. Did I get my shoes? Okay, that's all that matters. Oh, and I got the pumpkin, so. I mean, not pumpkin, energy core. So let's get out of here. <laughs> I really like the improvements of this area, that's for sure. Alright. Angry fish, anvil headed guy. Is this 
pass my way through here. Yes, here we go. Okay, I got everything in this area. Let's go on to the next. So, no, wait, let's actually put this in the, the Chrono Crystal and then we can go on to the next er <clears throat> area. My throat is filled up there. My turtle is sneezing, I think. I don't know what's up with that. But. Sounds like it's sneezing. But anyways. Joe has been too corrupted. He was most easily corrupt, the game said. And. That's how the Chrono Crystal works. And now. This area is the next one that's activated. Coincidentally, but. I'm going to go to this area to let it cycle around, and I won't be late, hopefully. Um, I forget what this area is as well. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. That's not cool. Ooh, let's get it in time. Awesome. Just crush the bat. What is this area? If you ever played the prequel to Chrono Tide here, you wouldn't recognize this as Winter Tide. Let's put on some better armor here. A bow. Yes, I will take a bow. Visibility potions, I won't touch those. What do we have to do here, guy? No, complete each trade in the order they are offered. Only complete each trade once. Thanks, Vlad. Wasn't there? What's in here? Isn't there a book? I'm guessing. Oh, let's just give him a wooden sword. Fetch any mission by Shaman. Quest 1. May the bright lady be praised. She's answered our prayers. Greetings, stranger. I am the shaman in charge of the defense situation. Whatever have happened here has corrupted this village, and we are trying to drive the creatures back into their pit. We could use a little help. We are outnumbered and severely undermanned. The troop man and the sentry cannons have fallen. I need the animation before he loses it to the fiends. Bring me back five fire charges from the sentry cannons. Let's go do the fire charges. So they're in the sentry cannons. And the sentry cannons are around here, like this one. Oh, let's let's get out of here. Bad things are happening. Bad things are happening. Whoa, nope. 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 Things have gotten really bad around here. Okay, let's hopefully get the next dispenser here. Okay, I got five, more than five. So let's go get the next trade. Oh, oh, oh. I'm stuck. I'm slightly lagging. So I did that trade. Crafting tables by Shaman Quest 2. Bright lady, you made it. I sense you're looking f for something. I may be able to help you. But first I need three crafting tables so it can create more defenses. Find three crafting tables in the village and bring them back to me. So let's go find and pick some three crafting tables. Is there one in here? No. Nothing. Despised by the lost soul. 
<laughs> I'm glad he's free. He told us the truth. I despise life in all its forms now. Creepy. Brewing stand. Um, maybe those would be useful for later defense quests, but for now, I'll just take it so I don't have to come up here again. Maybe I could be productive and help out the village in more than one ways at once. Ow. And dying is not a way to help out the village, and I got a potato. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, what? What's got me? Uh, I was in the wall there. Uh, uh, Things could be pretty bad pretty quickly. Another brewing stand. Okay. Gas tier. Uh, uh, oh, oh, they're on the ceiling, roof, whatever. <laughs> so I got a gas tier, crafting table. I need these. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Thank you. Slice a cake, pot of tea. So this must have been some cake shop or something. Mushroom stew, which I will eat now. That doesn't do anything. Ooh, I don't like this area. What's in here? Cauldron and a stone sword. Let's get out of here. Fermented spider eye and steak. These are some weird supplies, but I don't see any more crafting tables yet. Um, empty sign. Another cauldron and more food. Oh! Not cool. He died. Let's get out of here before another one spawns on my face and knocks out all my health. Yes, workbench, crafting table. That makes two, correct? Correct. Ooh, three. Here we go. Now let's head back. Bow, interesting. Set back after we search this place. Nothing. And another workbench. Okay, there's some on the second floor here. Fermented spider eye. What else is on this floor? A brewing stand. Placed. Another brewing stand. A potion of regen. If I'm poisoned, I could use that. Meanwhile, it sounds like we have company somewhere. Yep. Let's get out of here, though. We got it. We got three workbenches, uh, let's trade again. Check, check. The workbenches. Begin the ritual. The energy core is what you seek, I know that now. By retrieving the energy core, you could, you could actually stop this insanity. I can try and summon it here for you, but I shall need objects to perform a summoning ritual. Bring me a cauldron and a booming stance, so I shall begin. Fortunately, I have those. So we have a brewing stand here, cauldron there, core summoning four. 
I need two more objects to complete this ritual. Uh oh. And I have completed my part of this ritual, so I'll give you the lever. Use the lever on the emerald stone to complete the summoning. Bring me a gas tear and a fermented spider eye. Hey! I have those too. Sweet! Ooh, a lever. Wait, what did the what did the thing just say about the lever? Use lever on an emerald stone to complete the summer summoning. Those fools at Centium Centrium trapped me here in a crystal prison. They thought they could harness my power. Pitiful humans with their twisted experiments, they paid for their actions with their lives. That that's not Oh, that's a fire bat. But fire bats aren't very uh long living in Minecraft. But we got the energy core from winter tide. The evil of winter tide mentioned how he captured them in Zentrium and I got another energy core, so let's go put this in. I'm gonna cough now. Okay. There we go. Boom. So we have two areas done. That area just turned off. This area was skipped because it's already done, which is part of the uh, device beneath. This area is on right now. This area is done, so this area will be the next one to turn on. And we're going to go to this one. What this one is, I don't know. We shall see. Um, I believe this is the area where I have no clue where to go. Ooh. Another brick. I believe the door is up. But I need to get up one more story. This way looks like it. Um, no. Where do I have to go? Gah. Is it all the way up there? No, it's right there. And the lights are on now. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Got it. Perfect. Oh, we're going down again. What is this area going to be? Actually, we don't want to pick on our bar. We have no hats yet. This looks like the area from before, but... It's a different portal, so a different place.